Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com and today I want to talk about the power to bring more into your life by giving. Oftentimes people look at giving as something that's taking away from your life. But those of you who are wise and understand God's laws realize that giving is not a subtraction from your life. It is an addition to your life. It's actually an addition to two people's lives. Whoever you're giving to, or if it's more than one person, a group of people, and yourself, because you receive back because of your giving. Jesus put it this way in Luke chapter 6, verse 38, that if you give, it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give into your bosom. That's the promise of God for you if you give. When people are broke, when they're not having an abundance in their lives, they often shrink back, they pull back, they hold their hand, they keep back more than is meat. But consequently, rather than saving and preserving the little they have, they cause even that little to be taken from them. Jesus said that to him that hath, even more will be given. But to him that hath not, even that which he hath shall be taken from him. And that sounds unfair, but the re reason is because those people that don't have a lot are naturally holding back. They're not doing the things they should be doing. They're not engaging in the godly divine activity that God wants them to be engaging in. And the little bit they have, they're holding back. The person that has a lot is generally giving a lot. They're generally doing a lot. And if you look around the universe, let's say you know nothing about the scripture, you know nothing about God, you know nothing about any cultural ideas about God, and you look around the universe, what do you see? You see everywhere an abundance. You see things expanding from the universe itself down to the very plant life that we walk on each day in the grass. There's a constant growth and expansion and increase and abundance. And if you are not contributing to that, if you are detrimental to increase in the universe, if you are not expanding, not being creative like your Father in Heaven is, then the little bit you have will be taken from you. This is why giving is so important because to the world, the outside, those who are not in the wisdom of God, it seems like you are now minus something. You gave something, so you now have a minus on your account. But to those who are rich in faith and rich in material goods, you understand that you're just going to get even more back. Now, that's not your motive for giving. Understand that. But you know that's the result. In the natural world, you know when you plant a seed in the ground, and you water it, and you give it enough time, and you have the proper soil and everything, it's going to reap a harvest. Some 30, some 60, some 100 fold. Maybe even more than that. Maybe a thousand fold. One single seed can produce a tree that can produce a forest. Yes, there's a time period that that occurs during, but one seed can do that. And you need to be that person who is giving and who is sowing seed. You're casting your bread upon the water and you see it return not many days hence. Yes, you eat of the fruit of your labor. That's the gift of God. And you enjoy some of the benefits of the blessings of the Lord in your life. But you also share. You also are generous. You also are kind and compassionate. You're looking for ways to bless other people. And I'll tell you some simple ways I've seen this in my own life and the lives of other people. I remember giving some sunglasses. No big deal. They were nice, but it was no big deal. And then I was blessed with brand new $1,000 sunglasses. Now, I wouldn't have paid $1,000 for sunglasses. But because I gave of my sunglasses that I had, the only ones I had, I reaped a harvest that was basically a hundred fold because I had cheap sunglasses. I didn't hint or say, oh, I need sunglasses. It was just a gift. 
out of the blue. And this is something that you will start to see in your life as you are a giver. I was more blessed in giving those sunglasses than in even receiving new ones that were even more expensive and nice and a higher quality. I was blessed to give. I was blessed to see someone's need met. Not expecting anything in return. Not desiring, not seeking that out. Like, oh, I'm going to give these and I'm going to get a hundredfold return. That wasn't my thought. I just thought, oh, you like these? Here, have them. They'd be a blessing for you. But you know by experience that as you give, you're going to receive even more in return. Understanding that God gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater. And he gives you a harvest, a multiplication of the seed you've sown. More bread to eat, more abundance to experience, more things to enjoy in life, and more seed to sow. And you experience all that. But if you're walking around in life holding the little bit you have, shrinking back, not giving, but being stingy and clinging to what you have, I'm amazed at people who will talk about, well, you know, I'm in debt, so I just can't give. Okay, I understand you need to be responsible and take care of your debts. That's good. But you can't give a dollar? You see somebody on the corner who is begging for money? Now, who knows what position they're in or why they're there? It's not even your judgment. You don't judge those that are without. We judge those that are in the church that claim to be professing Christians, as the scripture says. Them that are without, God judges. But if they claim they need food and water, you can't bring them a bottle of water and some food? Even if it's just a bottle of water, you can't do that? There is something you can do to be a blessing in somebody else's life and to be a giver. It doesn't have to cost you a lot. It may cost you nothing. It may be something within your own environment you already have that you're not using that you could bless somebody else with. Now, I'm not telling you to bless somebody else with your junk, with your trash, because some people will do that. Well, here's these old socks I have that have holes in them. Let me donate them. That's trash. Be a blessing. Give good things. It may be the only thing that you have of that particular type of item, like my sunglasses. Give that. If you want to be a blessing to people. And I'm not telling you give away everything you have because you might need some of it. Especially tools if you have a business or something like that. But if you have two hammers and you only need one... Maybe you can give one away. Maybe it'd be a blessing to somebody. There are ways you can be a blessing without costing any money and without shrinking back in fear and poverty mentality and scarcity and lack and all those evils of the world. And you can think abundance. And what does an abundant person think? They think giving. They think there's more than enough. They think that there's going to be even more tomorrow. They think that they're going to receive even more back. They're not in fear. They're not worried. They're not panicking. They're not anxious. They know there's more ahead. My friend, take up that mentality, that abundance mentality, that prosperity mentality, and be a generous giver. And watch as your life changes for the better. And even if you're already successful now and you're already doing very well, you only do even better because to him that hath even more will be given. My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.